Welcome to part four of the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite video series. In part four, we're going to document our configuration in 2D utilizing a tabulated drawing. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to draw the active family member here on the screen here and, and I'll give it a, a front, a top, a side view, just like you've seen before. Now the difference here is when I place this dimension, I don't want it to read the dimensional value. I want it to read a string of text. So I'll check the box for hide dimension value and type in the text that I want it to display. Simple enough. Now the question is, where do I get the, uh, the table? So I'll go over here to annotate, I'll hit the general table button, grab the view, and what it's going to do is it's going to recognize that that's an I part and it had a parameter of length as an available column. So I'll go ahead and grab the member, grab the length, hit OK, and then I'll place my table. Now in relative space to the rest of the drawing, that text is pretty small and it's hard to read. And especially if there need to be referencing that for what the length is, I need to change the size. So I'll go into the Inventor LT Style and Standard Editor, go into the text, change my text height so that it's something easier to read uh, for the person receiving this DWG file. Spread out the table a little bit, and there we go. Now, since this is a tabulated drawing of a single configuration that has different uh, geometry in it, um, for example, members one through four, if you recall, we had it automatically suppress that extrusion that removed the material, made this part a little bit lighter. So what I want to do is I want to document a different member on this same sheet so that you can see the difference in geometry. Now finally, I'll annotate the differences between these members with a quick uh, text description. And again, the text editor in Inventor LT works very similar to AutoCAD LT. Draw your box, type in your text, and you can see all the control that you have uh, here within the text editor dialog. So I'll annotate which members that this particular drawing view represents. I'll do the same with the second. And now I've created a 2D representation of this configuration.